So while I like to think I know what I'm doing a little bit whenever it comes to, you know, color grading my footage here from my Sony a7 IV, I actually shoot in S-Log3 and I do that to get a little bit more dynamic range out of this footage than you would normally from the standard picture profile. And here's the thing though, okay? The standard picture profile on this camera is actually really good. As a matter of fact, I like it better than my old Canon camera's uh, standard picture profile. But I've always thought, well, hey, you know what? All of the professionals and everything shoot in a flat color profile. So I figured I would go ahead and get myself used to this S-Log3. And I got to say, now that I know what I'm doing a little bit, you know, I'm just learning, like, learning this stuff as I go along here for you guys so I, I can show you all this stuff, you know? And I figured I would show you all how I grade my footage. So again, keep in mind here, folks, I, I am not a, you know, a uh, colorist. I am not an expert. Uh, this is just uh, what I do to make my videos look like this here. Okay, so let's load up DaVinci Resolve and uh, I'll see you on the timeline. All right, everybody, and welcome to DaVinci Resolve 18 Studio. Now, you can even do this here on the free version of Resolve, but I just have the studio version because, uh, one, I wanted to support the company, and there are a few um, extra features that the paid version has that the free version doesn't, so that's the reason why I went ahead and bought the studio version here. But again, this can also be done in the free one. Not a big deal at all here, okay? So, how do you take your footage from this to this? And if you can't tell, this is the exact same footage that you just watched a second ago. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drag on the same footage again that you just saw. And as you can see here, folks, it's that flat color profile because this is S-Log3, okay? Now, the way that you want to color grade this, or at least the way that, that I do, which is the easiest way that I have found, is you can use something called a LUT. And essentially, it will take this flat color profile, S-Log3, and it will convert it to the Rec. 709 color space, which is pretty cool. Like a little one-click thing, that is it here, okay? So I'm going to show you how you can do that. All you have to do is this here. Go ahead and click on the color tab right down here. Make sure that the footage that you want to edit is highlighted. Then I'm going to go ahead and add a serial node here so I'm not editing on the main node here, okay? So I'm going to hit Alt-S. There we go. Now, what's cool with this here is that by default, this here might not be shown at all, okay? So to get that little LUT window to pop up, all you gotta do is hit LUT. And then as you can see here, they actually have built into DaVinci Resolve a lot of built-in LUTs from different companies that can transform your footage from a uh, flat color profile to any kind of color space that you might want to work with. Whether you're, you know, working with Aerie, Black Magic, of course, DJI, Olympus, Panasonic, Red, Sony. Um, I didn't know that, so that's the reason why you see this here, because I actually installed this here myself. But fun fact, this is the exact same thing as the one that uh, DaVinci Resolve actually ships with out of the box so just ignore this here okay because again it's the exact same thing so for this footage here i'm going to go to make sure that i'm clicked in sony and as you'll see right here as long as you hover over the lut you want to preview here and just scrub through it that's a preview of what your footage is going to look like which is pretty nice that's way too contrast if you ask me, but but the one that I like the most, and you'll actually see a little star up here to signify that it's my favorite, is this one right here. And um, it's pretty awesome. Like, I love how it brings back a lot of the saturation. It adds a little bit more contrast than what you would normally see from that flat profile. And uh, I think just all around looks really, really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and double click that. And that will apply the LUT to this node here, okay? And if you want to preview what it looked like uh, without it, all you got to do is just hit Alt and the letter D. There we go. I would assume that if you're on Mac, you would hit Option D, but I'm not a Mac user, so truthfully, I have no idea here. So yeah, again, if you want to toggle this on and off to check your work, just Alt D. And now you might be saying, well, this here looks pretty good. Like, you can just drag that on there and that will be it. Well, yes, you certainly can. And uh, but whenever I, I first started doing this for real with this actual, you know, S-Log3 uh, profile and an actual, like, 
legitimate flat color profile. And what I mean by le legitimate, I mean that before when I used to shoot Canon, I used to shoot that with that Cinetone. So it technically was a flat profile, but it wasn't like an industry standard like C log, S log, so on and so forth. You know, so I thought, well, you know what? If I'm going to start using these, I, I really want to know what I'm doing and, you know, try to make this like look as best as I possibly can, right? So. Yes, if you want to go ahead and just, you know, again, just double click that on there and, you know, you could you could be done because it does look pretty good out out of the box, you know, but I think uh, it looks a little bit too warm, uh, a little bit too dark in my opinion, but that could also just be because of the ND filter I had on on my lens when I shot this. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up the offset that should bring everything up like that there. How about around 30? Right there good enough right then i think the highlights are a little bit too harsh so i'm gonna go ahead and drag these down just a little bit so like maybe like negative 25 all right gonna just check this here just real quick and it already looks so much better y'all it really does now unfortunately i am not this tan in real life in case you all didn't know that so i'm gonna try to um, make the wall behind me here white so i'm gonna go down here to my color temperature and i'm gonna drag this back just a little bit till that looks more white okay so there we go and as you can see here fam on the timeline so you know like well i so I think while it looks i like pretty to good. think i know what i'm doing a little bit when what do y'all think, huh? Now, I cannot stress this here enough, okay, everybody? This is just the way I do it because this workflow works for me, but I am sure there are people here on YouTube that are way more qualified to talk about how to color grade and color correct your footage uh, that have, you know, years more experience than me and they actually know what they're talking about. But if, if you're new to this whole, you know, flat color profile, wanting to color grade your own footage like the same way I am and you are a certified noob, then I figured, hey, maybe if my entry level workflow here works for me maybe it could help somebody else out there that might be wanting to uh get their start uh you know correcting their own footage and whatnot you know so hey look if you want to see more content like this here on the channel do me a huge favor get this video liked i would really appreciate it and you know what while you're down there do me a favor hit that subscribe button and hey you know what it's free to do that it helps me out and the channel a lot so much thank you so much for stopping by and i'll catch you all next time